Hello, everybody. This is W2HX, and I am uh, doing a little tiny little video on this uh, very beautiful Sunair uh, LPA 9500. Uh, you may be familiar with the 9600, which is a full thousand watt uh, amplifier. This is a 500 watt amplifier, and uh, which is really actually very convenient for a lot of reasons. One, it's Remember, one kilowatt is, is only uh, one little less unit uh, different than this. And this amplifier can run on 115 volts or 125 volts, whatever your power is, whereas the full kilowatt generally requires a 230, 240 volt uh, uh, circuit. So um, this is going to be on eBay shortly. Uh, I, will, uh, I will post the URL for the eBay auction. I will notice the only flaw of this amplifier is that the needle for this analog meter is gone. Uh, it, it's possible it's down in there somewhere. I, I've never opened it up, uh, but it is gone. So um, therefore, you will not be, get the benefit of uh, this analog meter. However, you do have this digital readout, which is uh, very convenient uh, to tell you uh, uh, about the power levels and the state of bypass, etc. So just a quick look around. Uh, we're going to be powering this today with uh, this uh, 9000, RT 9000B, uh, I believe it is. This is not for sale, so I didn't want to spend too much time on it. Um, this is the unit that's for sale, and I'll just show you the hookup here in the back. So uh, what you can see here is that the RF from the amplifier, I'm sorry, from the RT goes to the amplifier out of the amplifier into my little uh, watt meter and then from my watt meter into this uh, little dummy load uh, which is very convenient um, okay uh, this as I said before this takes 115 volts very convenient uh, the the power cable will be going with it and quite possibly the control cable by the time I put the this uh, up for sale on on eBay I will have made that decision um, so uh, but anyway the, the this is this is the control cable uh, and most commonly you see this thing stood on top of the amplifier you see the RT stood on top of the amplifier okay enough of that let's uh, let's get to some testing so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is put this in uh, CW mode just for uh, simplicity all right and we've got this little uh, World War II key that plugs into the standard um, jack here. All right, and uh, we've got this. Let's put this on average mode for CW. And C, uh, SWR really will be zero because um, it's going into a, a dummy load. But you ready? So we're gonna we're gonna just uh, we're just gonna key up here, and let's see what we get. Okay, so I should mention that we're we're on the two thousand watt setting which is the top it is the top scale and you can, let's try to get the reflection out the top scale you can see the 500 right here uh, and that's what we're looking for and let's key up there it is just shy of 500 watts okay and I bet if I change the frequency uh, this would be different 500 watts and I and I don't really and I don't really know whether this uh, watt meter is uh, accurate very accurate. And in fact, you see we're getting a little bit of SWR. So that tells me that probably we're getting a little more power uh, than what we're seeing here. This should not be SWR into 50 ohms. Pretty good. Uh, now let's, uh, next thing I'm going to do is just put this into uh, a sideband mode. I don't know if you can see with the reflection here. AM, USB, that should work fine. And we'll use this Harris mic, which is not, again, not part of the auction. Let's put this on peak. We should do that too. Peak. Okay, now we're in peak mode, and let's take a look. 500 watts. Very nice. Not much more else to show. Uh, does this advertise? It's, it's pretty quiet. You probably can hear the fan noise, but I've got two fans going. 
one in this got a the fan and the dummy load behind the watt meter uh and this unit but it's very very uh manageable compared to some of the other amps i have like some harris amps uh, this is very gentle gentle sound okay that's about it hope you enjoyed the video